Hey, just squad, welcome back to my solo of Ears and Warfare. So, today's episode, we got this cool amid around here. And basically, what this is is a storage case that can be used for Nintendo Switch. If you can see the one that we got right here from this brand, and then here is basically what the product looks like when you guys first get in. So, if you can see the way how they design it allows you guys to put a lot of different stuff on here, like the station, the controller, the actual switch, the cables, and etc. If you guys do look at the size of the product, it is pretty bulky, and that's totally fine because it allows you guys to carry a lot of different stuff. That the other cases will not allow you guys to do but first thing let's take off this layer to show you guys what the product looks like and it will open it up all right so once you guys take out that piece of paper here is basically what the product looks like so in the front right here we do have the brand logo top part we do have a handle where to carry around really easily right here we do have a zipper where to open up and inside they do give you guys the option for you to hang stuff on here and here as well so maybe i can use that as a strap when you guys feel the material that's on here it's definitely like a hard shell case so it definitely will have that protection when you guys do put stuff inside. But here is basically what the case looks like when you guys first get it. Let's open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. All right. So once you guys open up, here is basically what the inside looks like. So inside they do probably got a strap option where you just strap it on the side. So that way you can use that shoulder strap if you guys do want to. And I will put it on in a second to show you guys what it looks like. But I do want to show you guys what's in here first. So you can see on the top part right here, we do have the slot where you put in your game cards if you guys do want to. And it's actually very spacious. They do have a lot of different spots available. Right here, we do have a mesh pocket where they put stuff inside. So maybe if you guys can put like your charging cable, your SD card or something, you can definitely put that on here because it is padded and it's like scratch resistant because of the mesh material that's on here. Bottom part right here, we do have a lot of different slots where they put everything you guys need, like the station, the switch, the controllers, and etc. And also when you guys do feel the material that's on here, it does have that padding to protect your product when you guys do put it on, which is pretty cool. And the way how they designed this case allow you guys to use it for the original uh, Switch or you can also use it for the OLED Switch as well. So that is basically everything that's on the product. Let me actually start putting stuff inside right here to show you guys what she looks like. So let's start with this one right here first. If you guys just stick it in. Here we have the Switch. Next step, let's put it on the station. Now we have the station. If you guys put the controller. Now we have the controller in. And then for the side right here, you can definitely put other stuff. So if you guys have like extra controller, you can definitely put it inside right there. And for this side, I'm we'll probably put like the charging cable. So I do have my cable right here. All right, so we got that in as well. And if you guys want to put your wrist strap on here, feel free to do so. So I think I'll just put it on top right here. So after putting all that in here, you do have a lot of space to put even more stuff if you guys do want to. So for me, I don't have that many games yet. So I don't need to put any game cards here. But eventually when I do get more games, I can definitely start putting it on here. But once you guys are done putting stuff inside, you guys can definitely close it back up. And it's all set. So you do have the option to carry around like this. Or like I mentioned, if you guys want to put on the strap, you do have the option as well. So if you guys strap it on this side, and then same thing for the other side. Here is basically what the strap option looks like. So right now the strap is not long enough. Let me actually stand it to make it longer. All right, so now we got a longer strap. Let's put it on. So once you guys put it on, here is basically what the product looks like. So if the strap is too long or too short, you do have the option to adjust it right here to make it longer or shorter based on your own preference. It kind of looks like a messenger bag when you guys do put it on, which is pretty cool. And just the way how the design is actually pretty cool. Like let's say we guys wear like this, and you guys want to take it out, you can just pull it up and open it like this. And just take out what you guys want inside. And once it's done, do it back up and bring it along with you guys anywhere again. So not only does the product help you guys organize stuff, but also give you guys the protection to protect everything inside, which is pretty awesome. And also, like I mentioned, the cool thing about this case is the fact that it allows you guys to carry a lot more stuff than your typical case, because most cases only allow you guys to bring the switch, the cables, and your game cards, etc. Where for this one's big enough for you to put like your station, your game controller, and so much more. But that is basically everything that is on the product. Now that we come boxing and testing the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are trying to look for a case that allows you guys to carry everything that I show you guys and mentioned that's on here, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys. So you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive. 
be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.